there's two formats that we're used to seeing angles in terms of. One is degrees, minutes, seconds. So in this example, 60 degrees, 18 minutes, 54 seconds. Or in terms of decimal degrees, so 60.315 degrees. Your calculator probably has a function that will do this conversion, but we'll work out how to do this manually in case you do not have that function or if you want to make sure you know how this is derived. So when we have minutes and seconds, just like with, with time, we have 60 minutes in one degree. We also have 60 seconds in one minute. So just like time, we have a, a similar conversion there with time. So what we can do when we have our degrees, minutes, seconds, if we're looking to convert that to decimal degrees, that's a fairly simple process. So of course we have 60 degrees, and we'll see that here with our decimal degrees. Then we're gonna add our minutes, which is 18 minutes, and we gotta convert this from minutes to degrees. And so we have one degree for 60 minutes. So we're dividing the 18 by 60, essentially. And then we're going to add our seconds here. So we have 54 seconds. And we can do this in two stages or in one. If we're using two stages, we know that we have one degree is equal to 60 minutes. And then we also know that one minute is equal to 60 seconds. So we're going to multiply those three times each other to convert the seconds into degrees. You also probably will quickly see that 1 over 60 times 1 over 60 is equal to 1 over 3600. So you could use this function instead of these two, but you'll get the same value. And this will, of course, equal 60.315 degrees, just as we, we started out with. Now the reverse is a little bit more difficult, but we can do that as well. So if we are given decimal degrees, 60.315, and we're trying to convert this into degrees, minutes, and seconds, we know we're going to start with the 60, because that's our whole number there, so we're going to go and pull the 60 out of there, so we have 60 degrees. Now we're going to have 0 0.315 degrees left over. So to convert that into minutes, we're going to multiply by 60. 60 minutes in one degree. And that's going to give us 18.9 minutes. So again, we're going to take our whole number. We're going to take that 18 for our minutes. And now we're left over with this 0 0.9. So we have stuff... 0 0.9 minutes. We want to convert this into seconds. So we're going to multiply that by 60 seconds in one minute. And that's going to give us 54 seconds. So up here completing our conversion from decimal degrees to degrees, minutes, seconds. We have 60 degrees, 18 minutes, 54 seconds. So again, this goes, shows us how to go from degrees, minutes, seconds to decimal degrees and back. Again, your calculator probably has a function to perform this, but in case you want to see how it's, it's derived or if you want to do it manually, you can use this process. Again, the, the important relationships are 60 minutes in one degree and 60 seconds in one minute.